Okay, we're back with tutorial three on the tween.js library file for animations. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is learning how to chain multiple tweens together to either create an animated loop or just a more um, complex animation. Again, we're in our JS fiddle just to kind of demonstrate this. Up in the HTML section, again, we've just pulled in our library files, our tween.js, our request animated frame, and our jQuery. We haven't really used jQuery yet, um, and we're probably not going to in this one either. And again, we're just pulled in two different objects. We've got our header object, animate me, and we've got Benny the Beaver. In our CSS part, once again, really all we need to do is just make sure that um, the, any object that you're going to animate has an absolute position put on it. And I've just uh, moved Benny the Beaver down just so uh, the two objects aren't covering each other up. So the meat of this is going to be in our JavaScript part again. And again, you'll notice here we've set up, we've got one position, we've got a target, and now we're going to have two different tween variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate Benny the Beaver. We're going to move him down to the lower corner of the screen, and then we are going to move him back to his starting position. And we're going to do that using a the chain. We're going to chain two tweens together. So let's take a look at how this works. So our first tween, we have a initial position set up. Uh, this position is where Benny is at. Uh, Benny is at 0x 100y. Remember, he's down 100 pixels. He's at rotation 0. We've identified the target of our animation as uh, Benny the Beaver. We set up our first tween, and we're telling it to tween to, to animate to position 250x 350y with no rotations in 1.5 seconds. We're not going to delay the animation at all. And just for this demonstration, we're just going to move in a straight line. Now, our second tween object. <coughs> our second tween object, one thing that you may notice is that we're calling the same position that we did in the first tween object. And the reason we can do this is, remember, this tween is going to be running first before tween back runs. And this tween is going to be actually updating the position so that when the tween animation finishes, the position variable itself is actually going to be updated to the dot two attribute of our tween. So at this point, when we call tween back, the position is actually going to be at 250x and 350y. So our tween back animation you see that we're taking him back to his starting location. And again, we're going to take 1.5 seconds to do that. We're not going to delay. And again, we're not going to have any easings, just a straight line. So here is where we can chain. This is how we chain our tweens together. And you'll see what I'm calling is I'm calling tween.chain tween back. So what this is going to do is this dot chain. This is going to tell the tween animation that when you're finished, start up the tween back animation. So you'll notice that we don't actually start tween back, we're only starting tween. So starting tween, when we run this, tween is going to start animate Benny the Beaver down to here, tween is going to finish, and then tween chain is going to start tween back, and then tween back should bring Benny the Beaver back to where he was. So you'll see kind of our update function is the same update that we've been running. So let's go ahead and run and see how this works. So you can see that Benny did indeed kind of go down and then he tweened back to where he was. So that's how we can do a chain. You can chain multiple animations together. Um, and another thing you can do is you can 
create a looped animation if you chain the two tweens back and forth to each other this is saying when tween's done start tween back this is saying when tween back is done start up tween so it can kind of cycle back and forth and if you do this then we just have a loop of Benny the Beaver going back and forth in the next tutorial we're going to talk about how we can pull be animating two different objects at the same time. So I will see you then.